Hi guys, this is Angel from PRTV Entertainment and wel welcome to our fourth tutorial for the UDK or call also known as the Unreal Engine. Now in this fourth tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to add usable objects on your map like, uh, I don't know, health, armor, uh, weapons, uh, and vehicles and so let's start first of all let's create a new project do not open the the other project from the third tutorial because i need to teach you guys first with a new map now create a new map and then then select the blank map let's create a floor a big floor so right click on the cube and let's put 3000 on the x 3000 on the y and 16 for the z and 16 for the width the thickness, my bad, for, for the thickness. Click on build and click on close. Now add the CSG, uh, pressing your control key plus A. And we have a normal floor here. Now insert any texture that you want on the floor from your content browser. There we go, now we have a floor. Now first of all, we need to indicate the game is gonna be a dead match. So go to your view on the top of your window, go to the world properties and in the game type uh, you must choose on the default game type utt uh, ut dead match and in the game type for pie choose the same ut dead match now the game is set up so you can spawn with a gun in your hand now we need to click on uh, we need to create a player start uh, right click on the map and any place on the floor uh, go to act actor add player start now we have the player start N key so it goes to the ground there we go escape so you can deselect the object now let's add a light in the middle go right click on the middle of the map go to add actor add light point now pull up the light now we need to scale we need to scale the light so we can see more uh, of the map there we go escape to deselect the object and now let's add uh, the objects that we that we will be using on the game on the map. Now for that, go to the content browser. Let's make it quick. Go to actor classes, and from here you can choose what type of objects that you will be inserting into the game. Now, uh, first of all, let's insert the weapons. So go to pickups weapon, UT weapon locker content. From here you can choose to put. Uh, like three weapons or more from to the game it depends on how much uh, weapons you have on that lock content now after selecting the UT weapon locker content right click on the map where you want to, uh, to insert the UT weapon locker content and click on add UT weapon lo locker content here as you can see we have locker con uh, content here double click on it and you will have the properties for that uh, let's add three guns to this locker here now go to the UT weapon locker and the weapons you need to uh, click on the green cross that says add new item after doing that uh, click on the black arrow that you have here on your left so I can open the properties for it and the weapon class choose the first gun now click on the green cross again so you can add an, another gun to the game the same thing go to the properties for that class and choose rocket launcher now for the third time right click on the green cross uh, right click my bad left click on the green uh, green cross now open the properties for this uh, for the uh, other weapon class and choose the shock rifle now we have three weapons that will be on the locker content so when you get to the locker content you will have three guns that you can change from any gun that you have now close uh, the properties for the UT weapon locker con uh, content and let's cr uh, insert a, nor a normal weapon click on UT f uh, weapon pickup factory now on the map right click and click on add UT weapon pickup factory here same thing double click the object so you can go to the uh, properties and in the UT weapon pickup factory there is weapon pickup class now choose the gun that you want to put for that uh, pickup factory that we have it and we can also add armor as you can see let's put the base armor 
select UT armor, pick up base armor, right click on your map and click on add UTA, uh, UT armor, pick up base armor here. Now we have the armor there. Now let's add vehicles. Now go to the vehicles is in the bottom and choose any of these vehicles that you have here. I'm going to choose a scorpion. Oh, no, I'm going to choose a main. So main is way better. Now right click, select the the vehicle that you will be adding. Right click on the map where you uh, where you're going to put the vehicle and click on add UT vehicle factory and the name of the vehicle here. There we go. So from here we have uh, weapons the locker uh, weapon locker content we have an armor we have the player star we have the light and we have a vehicle if you want to add another vehicle just choose a vehicle from the actor classes right click on the map and click on add UT vehicle factory scorpion here or you can choose to select the vehicle on the con on the actor classes and just drag it to the map where you want to put the vehicle there we go so we got three vehicles here and we got a floor and everything with textures on it so now what's up next is that we need to build the air path and the lightning so go to the top of your window and click on build click on lightning leave everything uh, how it is click on ok wait until it builds all the lightning and the shadows on the game It has finished. We got a couple of errors. Doesn't matter. Click on close. Go to build on the top of your window and click on AA paths. Now let's play. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have an armor here. And we have it. We got it. I only have this gun. Now I'll be having three. Got the link gun. I got the shock rifle. And I got the rocket launcher. And now I want to change to this one. I already have it, so it doesn't make a difference. But if you start the game and you try to get the the shock rifle first, it will give uh, it will give it to you. There. Now when I add the other two, there we go. Now the armor. Now let's play with the car. There we go. We have play with the car. Now let's play with the other one. I don't remember. Okay, you need to put uh, press space so it can go up and control so it. Uh, oh, I don't remember where it is. <laughs> That's bad. Um, there we go. Come on, let it go. There we go. Oh, my bad. I forgot where I can pull uh, this thing down. I don't remember, and it sucks. But anyway, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I told you. Now let's get into the other, to the other one. Oh, give me that armor here. There we go. Now this one is really quick, as you can see. Jump on everything. Still, I like this one better. Well, guys, that's all for adding uh, usable objects on the game. Uh, on the fifth tutorial, I'll try to teach you guys how uh, you can change from your first person view to a third person view. Uh, this is going to be really nice because you can decide which game, uh, how the game is going to look like. If you want the people to see uh, the character on the game or if you only want them to see what uh, gun the, does it have on the game. If I can add an extra uh, tutorial for that, uh, like adding new guns or something, uh, that are uh, they
they are not on the game that you want to add your own gun I will try to add it to the fifth tutorial if not I'll be adding that on the sixth tutorial or the seventh tutorial this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment guys hit the like button write a comment and don't forget to subscribe bye